An echocardiogram is also known as an echo or a sonogram or an ultrasound of the heart. And it uses ultrasound technology to look at the size and squeeze of the hearts. Limited echocardiograms just show us the size and squeeze of the heart. There are more specific echocardiograms that can actually show us valves and other structures and pressures inside the heart. And there are also stress echocardiograms which use echocardiogram ultrasound technology to see how the heart squeezes while you're at rest and then they stress the person either by running them on a treadmill or giving them medications to induce stress and repeating the ultrasound to see how the heart squeezes stronger and harder and evaluate all the walls. Uh, it's a very painless procedure, it involves them uh, just removing their shirt, we put a little cover over their chest wall, we put a little warm ultrasound gel over the chest area and a small ultrasound probe and there may be some pushing uh, on the chest a little bit and the technologist may ask you to take deep breaths in or deep or exhale during the test but it's a fairly simple procedure. Uh, they'll take images at different angles and may ask them to turn position or take a deep breath or exhale. The tests are reviewed by physicians and once they're, they're reviewed we notify the patients about the results. The image helps us see all the walls of the heart, the different structures of the heart uh, and how they're squeezing. We can tell how big the size of the chambers of the heart are, how it's functioning. We can detect if there's any damage to the heart. Uh, anybody with chest pain, shortness of breath, swelling in their legs, rapid heartbeats uh, could benefit from an echocardiogram. Anybody with any cardiac risk factors such as diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, a smoking history or early family history of heart disease or vascular disease can benefit from an echocardiogram as well.